Okay, Francisca. How are you? How can I help you today? Bye. Hello. Hi, ¿Qué es lo que necesita reforzar conmigo? Tiene 10 minutos, aprovecha. Uh -huh. uh, en cuanto a las preguntas en, en pros negativo eh, y las interrogantes. Vaya, ok, excelente. Fíjese bien, eh, yo le voy a le voy a, a poner aquí en la pizarra, ok, ¿la ve la pizarra? Sí. Sí, la veo. Sí. Vaya, entonces, las preguntas yo voy a utilizar do, do. para I, para you, para we y para they. Ok, y luego el verbo. Where. Do I wear? Do you wear? Do we wear? Do they wear? En presente simple. ¿Estamos? Yes. Ok, excelente. Ahora, la negativa. La negativa va a ser I, we, perdón, you, para que sigamos el mismo orden. You, we, y they, don't. El mismo, el mismo auxiliar, solo que ese auxiliar, ese auxiliar, don't, es la contracción de do más not. Ok. The do must not. Eso es igual a a don't. Do not. El mismo auxiliar va. Do must not en la negativa. Y aquí es así como lo utilizo. Ahora bien, cuando yo hablo de terceras personas. Ok. He. Entonces voy a utilizar para preguntas. Does. He. She. And it, yo utilizo das. Y lo mismo, el verbo en su forma simple. Where. Y. Y de igual forma, las negativas las voy a hacer con he, she, and it. Y luego. La contracción de does not, que es doesn't. Y luego el verbo, ¿verdad? Where. Y así es como, y acuérdense, doesn't, doesn't es la contracción de tú. De does de los not. Ok, entonces para las preguntas en presente simple, yo voy a utilizar do. Para estos pronombres, I, you, we y they. Y en la negativa, para los mismos pronombres, I, you, we, they, don't. Va. Y para las preguntas, does, he, she, and it, does. Y para la negativa, para he, she, and it, doesn't. Luego el verbo. El verbo ya en su forma simple. Ok. Ok. Vaya. Ahora, en progresivo. En progresivo. Yo voy a utilizar. I am not. Y el verbo. Con ING. I am not playing. ¿Verdad? Vale. Yeah. Y para la pregunta, voy a utilizar cambio, ¿verdad? Am I playing? Como el verbo se debe estar, es am solo para este pronombre. I am. I am. Uh -huh. I am. Solo para ese pronombre. Ahora. Yeah. Yo voy a utilizar 
y eh, negativo para he, para she y para y yo voy a utilizar y sen y playing siempre el verbo con ing él ella o la cosa no están jugando okay. vaya y para la pregunta voy a utilizar is he she or it playing ¿Por qué? Porque el auxiliar es is. Eso en vale. cuanto a la pregunta. En cuanto a la pregunta voy a utilizar is con he, uh -huh. con she y con it. Uh -huh. Y acuérdense, uh -huh. isen, isen es la contracción isen. de is not. Is not. Is not. Is not. Vale. Uh -huh. Y si voy a hablar de Ah, negativo. Ok. Uh -huh. Para you, para we y para they are aren't, aren't, aren't. aren't playing. Aren't playing. Ok. Uh -huh. Para you, we y they, el auxiliar uh -huh. es are. Con, contractado con la partícula negativa se convierte en aren't. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Y, y si para digo, hacer la pregunta, voy ¿sí? a utilizar el R. ¿Verdad? R. De. No, R. You. R. You. G. Or. De. Playing. Y así es como sí. hago preguntas con. Presente, eh, presente progresivo. Ajá, y si yo digo, yo no estoy estudiando. Ajá, I am not, aquí, I am not I am studying. Ah, I am not estudiando. I am not studying, ajá. Y si pregunto, ¿dónde estudias tú? Ah, ¿dónde estudia? Va, entonces, como ese es presente simple. Ajá. Entonces, yo voy a poner, where... Y como es presente, do, Ajá. y como es para tú, ¿dónde estudias Ajá. tú? Ajá. Where do you study? Ajá. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Y do, porque el pronombre es you. You, Ajá. ¿Verdad? Y study. ¿Y por qué? Porque estoy hablando de algo rutinario. Ajá. ¿Dónde estudias? Hoy, mañana, hasta que termine el curso. Ajá. ¿Está claro? Yes, sí. ¿Y dónde estudiarás o dónde estudiaste? En ese futuro, no hemos visto futuro. futuro todavía. Ah, ok. Ok, no hemos visto futuro, así que no okay. lo quiero complicar. Ajá, sí. ¿Verdad? Yes, sí. Pero esa sería haciendo esto, mire, futuro. Como el auxiliar para futuro es will, where will you study? Ah. ¿Dónde estudiarás? Porque este video es el auxiliar de futuro. El auxiliar, sí. Yes. Ah, pero ahorita no la quiero complicar. Quedémonos con esto. Con do, sí. Ajá. Do. Ver, y no. cuando se pone el do al inicio, esta es una pregunta también. Es, pre, es que todas, cuando se pongo el, el do o el das antes del, del pronombre, es que es pregunta. Uh -huh. Es la pregunta, ah, ¿verdad? Y cuando ah, lo okay, pongo entonces... después, mire, como en este caso... Are you with they don't? Es porque es negativa, ¿verdad? Es negativa. Y va okay. antes del verbo. Ok. Ok, teacher. Vaya, ok. Me voy a quedar con Vladimir ahora, Francisco. Ok, teacher. Bye, teacher. Ok, bye bye. Have a good Thank night. You. Good night. Ok, remember to do. Ok, bueno, se nos fue. Dígame, Vladimir. ¿En qué le podemos ayudar tonight? Encienda su micrófono. Good night, teacher. Good night. Pues, este, más que todo, si me puede aclarar los dos últimos temas que hemos visto sobre el presente simple y el otro es, hemos visto el presente continuo. Vaya. Fíjese bien, le, le voy a mandar a llamar el material. Ok. 
Voy a salir de aquí. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir y nos vamos a ir al material. ¿Ok? Quiero ver, aquí está el material. Vaya, fíjense bien. Ah, en la clase de ayer vimos que podemos utilizar el presente continuo, llamado también presente progresivo, para hablar cosas que ya están programadas, que ya están arregladas, que ya están agendadas. ¿Me explico? Ok, va, entonces eso es futuro. Sí, puedo utilizar presente progresivo, aunque es presente, pero en inglés se utiliza para expresar futuro. Solo en ese ramo, en las cosas agendadas, en las cosas ya arregladas, en las cosas ya okay. programadas. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? De acuerdo. Vale. Ahora, también el presente simple yo lo utilizo para hablar de cosas que yo hago habitualmente. Por ejemplo, usted se baña, Vladimir. Yes, Todos los días, va. o cada dos este días, no sé, va. Todos los días, ¿verdad? Todos los días. Entonces lo hago right. habitualmente. Va, entonces, eso lo, el presente simple yo lo utilizo para hablar de cosas habituales. Yo me baño. Ahora, el presente progresivo significa para cosas agendadas en el futuro y en el presente para cosas que estoy haciendo en el momento. Entonces, usted se baña todos los días, pero ahorita no se está bañando. Entonces, el presente progresivo dice, yo me estoy bañando. ¿Cuándo? Ahorita. ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Ok. Ok. Es Entonces, como... I am not speaking. Yo no estoy hablando. ¿Cuándo? Ahorita. Pero I speak English. Vale. Yo hablo inglés. Yo hablo inglés, pero no estoy hablando ahorita. Pero no estoy hablando. Vale. Entonces, esa es la diferencia entre el presente simple y el presente progresivo. Y lo que le estaba explicando a, a Francisca es las, por ejemplo, si usted ve, I, you speak, he, she speaks, we speak, they speak. Estas son las formas afirmativas. Ahora, en presente progresivo necesitamos el verbo ser o estar. I'm not speaking, you are not speaking, he, she, and it is not speaking, we are speaking, they are speaking. ¿Está claro? Ok. Vale. Ahora, si yo me quiero ir a, a cómo hago las preguntas, entonces utilizo do para I, you, we y they. Esto ya lo habíamos visto, ¿se acuerda? Y el verbo sí. en su forma base. Y para usar las negativas con I, you, we y they, utilizo don't. Y el verbo. En este caso, el verbo es... En este caso, el verbo es el mismo, where. Aquí pongo where. Uh -huh. Y si quiero hacer preguntas con he, she, and it, voy a utilizar el auxiliar does. Yes. Y en las negativas, para he, she, and it, doesn't. doesn't. Que es la contracción de does not. Does not. Más el verbo principal, lo que hemos venido practicando. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Ahora, okay. lo que vimos ahora es que si yo hago las cosas habitualmente voy a utilizar este tiempo presente simple pero si yo estoy haciendo las cosas en el momento de hablar entonces voy a utilizar presente continuo que es este, ¿cuáles son las negativas? I am not playing ¿cómo hago las preguntas? Am I playing verbo cero estar más eh, sujeto más el verbo con ing uh -huh. He, she, and it. ¿Cuál es, la, ¿Cuál es el verbo cero de estar? Is. is. Contractado en negativo, is. It. Is. It. Y para hacer preguntas, is he, is, is she, she, is it playing? You, we, they, are, y siempre playing. Are you, we, they, play? Ya. Entonces, utilizo esto por si estoy hablando de cosas que estoy haciendo en el momento. Ok. Ok. Hey, I sing in the shower. Yo canto en la en la en la en el baño. But I am not singing now. Pero no estoy cantando ahorita. ¿Ve la diferencia? Okay. 
Yes. Okay. More questions. More questions, Vladimir. Yeah. Um, for example, um, yo quiero preguntar algo que haré en el futuro. Pues, eh, sí, si, ha, si voy a, 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 a preguntar algo que haré en el futuro, ¿ok? O que alguien más hará en el futuro, por ejemplo, eh, you, you were, o, eh, bueno, en español sería, tú trabajarás mañana. Ajá, entonces, como es pregunta, el auxiliar, okay. el auxiliar en este caso es will. Okay. Will you work tomorrow? Tomorrow. Ok. Trabajarás okay. mañana. Ahora, hay diferentes formas de expresar el futuro. Pero ahorita no lo quiero complicar. Este es el más famoso. Ok. Ahí después ya lo vamos a ver. Porque en, como en básico 4, vamos a estar viendo futuro. Ok. Entonces okay. es will. Will you work tomorrow? Y este will lo uso con todos los pronombres. Con I, con he, con she, con we, con they. Ok. Es algo que no estamos viendo ahorita, pero ya que me lo pregunta, así se usa. Okay. Y la contestación, ¿Y yes. I will, I will work tomorrow. I will work tomorrow. I will work tomorrow. Yo trabajaré mañana. Y si fuera la negativa, okay. la contracción de will más not es want. Yo no trabajaré mañana. Want. Pero want. Ok. Ok. Eh, la última pregunta. Diga. Bueno, un verbo le agrego ed. Ah, ese es pasado. Esos son los verbos regulares. Pasado. Ajá, esos son los verbos regulares. Ok, por ejemplo, play es la forma base del played. verbo. En pasado es played. Los verbos regulares. O sea, el pasado y el pasado simple del verbo basta con agregarle ed. Pero hay dos grandes grupos. Los regulares, que son los que terminan ed, y los irregulares, los que no terminan en ed. Por ejemplo, go. El pasado es went. went. Entonces, estos son irregulares porque no sirve, no siguen este patrón de agregarle ed a la forma base del verbo. In go, in the, in the, en el in caso the past, de go, went. Went. Ajá. For example, is, I go west. to the gym every day. Yo voy al, al gimnasio todos los días. Pero ayer... I went to the gym yesterday. Yo fui al gimnasio okay. ayer. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, Thank very you. good. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Ok, and... Bye. Vaya, eh, no sé, ¿qué le pasó ahora? ¿Por qué se conectó tarde? ¿Vino tarde del trabajo? Sí, generalmente. Estos días, como ya son los últimos días de mantenimiento... Regreso bastante tarde a la casa. Ah, vaya, ok. Trate de conectarse porque por los minutos, sí. ¿verdad? Y uh, eh, veo que no ha hecho el midterm todavía, ¿verdad? El examen midterm. Eh, antes de ingresar a la clase, lo realicé. Ah, antes, ah, pues ya, ya, ya lo voy a subir entonces. Solo su nota me hace falta. Ok. Ok. Vaya, ok, okay excelente. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Melissa, Melissa.
I was calling you right now. <laughs> hey, teacher. I, I wonder what happened, I said, okay? <laughs> okay, what do you want to reinforce, Melissa? I want to reinforce the, the rules. Ah, okay. Like simple present and simple progressive. Okay. Now, with you, we can go more specifically, okay? Okay. Now, let, let me share with you, okay? Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, now, simple present, how to form, right? This is how to form the sentences. In a affirmative, I speak, you speak what you know. He, she, and it speaks, right? Mm -hmm. The negative, I don't speak, you don't speak. He, she, and it doesn't speak. We and they don't speak, right? Okay. And the question, do I speak? Do you speak? Do we speak? Do they speak? And when it's negative? When it's negative, I, I don't speak. Remember, I, you, we, they don't. And the, and the question? And the question, do I, do you, do we, do they speak? And for he, she, and it, does. Does he, does she, does it speak English? No, he doesn't speak English. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. There's no negative question. Right. So I, I speak English. Do I speak English? I don't speak English. He, does he speak English? He doesn't speak English. Okay? Okay. And for we and they, do and don't. Do for questions and don't for the negative. Now, in the present progressive, can you see the negative? I am not speaking. You are not speaking. And the question, I take the auxiliary verb to be, Am I speaking? Am I speaking? Are you speaking? Is he or she speaking? Are we speaking? Okay. Are they speaking? And the negative, we are not speaking. We aren't speaking. They aren't speaking. He and she isn't speaking. Okay. Okay. Now, very good. Now, this is, uh, remember, when the verb ends in O, C, H, S, H, or S, we add ES, okay, yes, to the verb. Right. Example, do, does, go, goes, uh, watch, watches, wash, washes, mm -hmm. okay? And when the verb ends in a Y preceded by a consonant, we drop the Y and add I, E, S. Mm -hmm. But if the verb ends in uh, Y and is preceded by a vowel, in this case, we only add the S. So okay. those are basically the rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here, how to add the ING form to the main verb? Because here the main verb has to be with ING. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a uh, uh, you are going to add ing to most verbs, a la mayoría de los verbos. Uh -huh. okay. For example, play, playing, uh, drink, drinking, sing, singing. But there are exceptions. Exception number one, when the verb ends in a silent e. For example, dice, cuando el verbo termina en una e que no se escucha. For example, come. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? El de la M. Come. Dance. ¿Cuál es el último sonido? El de la, el de la S. Entonces, en este caso, in this case, I'm going to drop the E and I'm going to add ING. Come, coming. Dance, dancing. Ahora, take a look. Agree. En este verbo termina en E, pero la E sí se oye. Agree. En ese caso, you add ing. En ese caso, no vamos a quitar la e. Sin, simplemente vamos a agregar ing. Porque okay. la e sí se escucha. ¿Ok? Ok. Those are the rules. 
Now, another exception. If the verb ends, if, if the verb has one syllable, one syllable, si tiene una sílaba, and, is, and it ends in consonant, vowel consonant, so you double the last consonant and add ing. Okay? Dos condiciones. Yeah. First, one syllable. <laughs> And second, that ends in CVC. Ends in CVC. So that is consonant, vowel, consonant. Like this case. Okay. okay? For example, we have another verb, drop. Okay, can you see drop? The harka is. So drop ends in a consonant, it's one syllable, ends in a consonant, vowel, consonant. So we double the P, not like G. Okay. And the pronunciation is different. No, the pronunciation is the same. The same. Drop. Okay. Drop. Okay. Sit, sitting. Agree, agreeing. Come, coming. Okay. 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 One more exception. If the verb ends in wa and ie, ie. Okay. For example, lie. We are going to drop the ie and we are going to add i y i n g. Okay. The same happens with die die so okay. so we are we drop the ie and add y i n g okay dying morir muriendo okay, okay. Now, what we said, that is how to form, how to form, como formar. Now, we are going to go how to use, when to use it, cuando usarlo. Okay, so we said, in general, regularly, often, or never, so habitual, okay? Colin plays football every Tuesday, so that is regularly, right? First, Colin plays football, then he watches TV. So that is regularly. In the present progressive, that is at the moment of speaking. Look, Colin is playing football. When? Now, at the moment of speaking. Okay? These are the signal words. Signal words, like palabras claves. Claves. Right? Right. Okay. Now, something that I didn't explain because I don't want to confuse you, these, these verbs, estos verbos no se usan en presente continuo, porque ellos denotan mm -hmm. condición o estado de ánimo, ¿ok? Entonces, solo se utilizan en presente simple. Ok. Okay. Can you can you tell me an, an example? Aha, uh -huh. for example, when you say, hey, uh, por ejemplo, se lo voy a decir en español para que lo, nos quede claro por el tiempo. Okay. okay. For example, you say, I know. Usted no dice, yo dice, yo conozco, no, está, no dice, yo estoy conociendo. No, yo conozco sí. esto. Ok, sí. por ejemplo, usted dice, I love, uh, yo, a mí me encanta el azúcar. No dice, a mí me está encantando el azúcar. Ok, porque estos verbos expresan eh, estado de ánimo, es, eh, condición, eh, los sentidos, sensaciones. Entonces, okay. ellos se usan nada más en simple present. Ok. okay. Yeah. Y then... Para, para food. utilizamos el presente simple cuando queremos hablar de eh, horarios. Por ejemplo, el horario de clases, 
eh, al cine, cuando usted va al cine y ve el horario de las películas, va al aeropuerto y ve el horario de los vuelos, va eh, en TV Guide y usted ve el horario de las películas. Entonces, esos horarios yo los voy a eh, describir con presente simple, with simple present. Now, eh, if I have arranged my schedule, I have scheduled my events for the future, I'm going to use present progressive. This is what we saw in last night's class. Okay? Yes. So for things that we arrange in the future, okay, like in my agenda, okay, I'm going to express them with present, present progressive. progressive. Right. So that's it. Those are the yes. rules, basically. Okay? Yes. yes. So what you have to do is think, okay, think always in English, Melissa. Think always in English. It doesn't matter if the people think you're crazy or uh, okay. uh, don't think, don't worry. You want to speak English. So you right. have to do that crazy practice. People think you're crazy, but you are practicing. Okay. So for example, when you are doing okay. something, try to express it in English. Ah, I am, I am, I am visiting the dentist tomorrow, for example. So try to say those things in English. Porque se le van a volver este eh, hábitos okay because you say it and you say it and you say it. so after a while it's gonna it's gonna come naturally you don't have to think they will come naturally because you already practice it and yeah. practice it and practice and not only thinking you have to say the things and you will see how fast you learn yeah. English okay Okay. Okay, more okay. questions? Perfect. Not for now. Not for now. <laughs> Maybe okay. for tomorrow. Okay, no problem. Not for okay, now. <laughs> so just go ahead, do your homework. Uh, uh, practice yes. not the vocabulary that you know. Practice the new vocabulary. Oh, this is new. I'm going to practice with these words this week. Okay, not with the ones right. that you or know. These kind of sentences. Know. Okay? So practice with the okay. new vocabulary, okay? So they will become part okay. of your repertory, okay? Okay, okay. thank okay. you so much. No problem, you're welcome, Have okay? Good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, bye. Okay, have, a, have some rest, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, I hope so, <laughs> bye. Yeah, okay. Hello, Vicente, how are you? Hello, teacher. Okay, how can I help you tonight, Vicente? Um, I am not question. You don't have any questions, are you sure? I am, no, practice. Ah, you, you need to practice. Okay, let's practice. So, what are you doing yes. tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow at work? Okay. Uh, I am visiting the possible clients. Okay. Hey, what, what do you do? What do you do at your work? And I am design, I design garden. Garden? And uh, yes, gardens, the grass. Okay, so you and, are a uh, garden developer. Garden developer. Garden, garden developer. developer. Uh huh, garden developer, just like this. Because. Uh -huh. Yes, go ahead, tell me. Garden developer. developer. Garden developer. What's the meaning developer? Desor desarrollador de jardines. Así como hay uh -huh. uh, desarrolladores de ciudades. Right? 
Ellos des diseñan las ciudades. You design gardens, right? Yes. So you are a garden developer. Un desarrollador de jardines. You design, okay? okay. To, to look beautiful, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me more. And uh, now, do you work alone or you work uh, in a company? Both. Both. Uh, I both. work in a company uh, from Monday to Saturday in the middle day. Uh, until the morning. In, in until Saturday, the Saturday morning. In Saturday, in Saturday uh, afternoon and Sunday, I work alone. Ah, you work alone. Okay, very good. Yes. So, uh, now, uh, how is the pay? How is the pay? Do you do you make a lot of money? And uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, más que todo cuando I am, I work alone. When you work alone, uh huh? Yeah, because yes. the company pays you. Okay, they charge the client, yes. but they pay you. Okay, but when you yes. work alone, it's all for you. Yes. Okay, very it's good. Para mí. Yeah, it's all, it all, all is for you. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Yes. How long, how long have you been doing this type of work? How long, how long have you been doing? Hace cuánto tiempo ha venido haciendo este trabajo? How long have you been doing this type? And uh, in this year. All this year? I, yes, I am graduating in. Okay, wait, 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 Vicente. I graduated. I graduated. I graduated. I graduated. I graduated. I graduated in June. I don't remember. In June. In June. In this year. This year. This year. 2020. Yes. yes. Ah, from from where? 2020. Where did you graduate? Where did you graduate from? And from the University of El Salvador. Universidad de Salvador. Really? Wow, I didn't yes. know that the university have a, a garden developers. Very good. I am I am not garden developer. Um, I work and um, como garden developer. I uh -huh. am architect. Ah, so you are an architect. Ah, I see. Yes. An architect. I am architect. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. That is quite interesting. Very interesting. Yes. Uh, pero si traba, uh, I work and garden developer. Uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Hace tres años. Three years ago. Three years Three ago. Three years ago. Uh -huh. Really? Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. And what are your plans for the future? And uh, I have my company of construction. Ah, you have your own company? I have it. Yes. Okay. I'm having my company. Oh, very good. That is interesting. Very interesting. Yes. And because uh, um try to work. I try. On. I try. I try. I try to work alone. I try. Yo
Yo trato de que I try and uh, work alone. To work alone? Yes. Ah, generally said. Okay. Very good. Hey, ¿qué pasó con Ginny? Eh, dijo que no se iba a poder conectar, teacher. Por eso me conecté yo esa vez. Ah, ok. No problem, no problem. Estaba viendo, hey, si Vicente iba por último, dije yo, pero... Yes. It's okay. It's okay. No problem, no problem. So, we still have five yeah, more minutes. Tomorrow, tomorrow I, I having... I, I have... Wake up early. You have to... I have to wake up early. I have to wake up early. I have to wake up early and because the traffic in Opico is hectic. Okay, yeah, it's hectic. Very good, yeah. And uh, where is where is your office? The company that you work is in San Salvador? In Santa Tecla. Ah, in Santa Tecla. And yes. you live in Opico? No, no, I live in Cuarepeque Lake. Ah, Cuarepeque Lake. Yes, in oh, el Congo. Okay. In el Congo? Yes. Oh, very nice, very nice. Now, you live, now if you go to Santa Ana, do you live on this side of el Congo or in the side of the Cuarepeque Lake? Um, Side Quatepeque, Quatepeque Lake. Quatepeque Lake, yeah, because I had a uh, friend. I had a friend that lived on the other side of the street of the of the highway. Okay, so instead of going to Quatepeque Lake, you go this way. Right? Okay. Uh-huh. And it's still Congo. Planet. It's still El Congo, right? Ah, okay. El Congo. Ya conoce usted, teacher, el lago de Cuatepec. Oh, yeah. I, I had a friend that he had a, he had a ranch. He had a site right there, you know, and uh, uh, we used to go there and swim a little bit, swim and, you know, relax. Uh, he was a student okay. and I was an instructor in the university, Tecnológica University. I'm talking about in the 80s. Long, long time ago. Oh, yeah. Already. Was. So his name was Batley. Batley. Jaime Batley. I don't know if you if you heard of those of those names. Jaime Batley. Jaime Batley. Uh huh. Very rich. Very rich guy. Oh. Yeah. He he. He is from Santana. Okay. Okay. I I born in Santa Tecla. I was born. I was, I was born, born in Santa Ah, okay. In Santa Tecla. Okay. Volví a Santa Tecla. <laughs> por el trabajo. <laughs> yeah, for the work, huh? And your parents? Yes. Where are your parents from? My father and born in uh, was Morazan. born my father was, was born. my father was born in Morazan and my mother was born in Wizukar. Wow yes and uh now uh, did you move to El Congo to Guatepeque Lake because of your parents or because you got married and you decided to live in Guatepeque Lake um, for my parents. Ah, your parents moved there? Yes, and tengo de vivir acá 20, 25 years. 25 years. You've been living there for 25 years. Ooh, yes. that's a long. And how old are you? 26 years. 26 years, so you yes, you moved there when you were one year old. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 15 months. 
50 months. Oh my God, yes. that is, hey, that is uh, nice. All, all, toda la vida. All my life. Almost, all, almost all, all my, my life. life. Almost all, all my life. Okay. Okay, Vicente, what I recommend you is, look, find people okay. that speak English and speak English. Okay. okay. You see what we are doing right now? This is what you have to do very often. Okay. And you will see how quickly you uh, will speak English. Okay, you will be fluent and because sometimes we know a lot of vocabulary, but we don't use it because we don't speak too often. So that's okay. what you have to do, okay? Find friends that speak English. And if they are bilingual, that they speak Spanish and English, don't talk to them in Spanish. If they speak Spanish to you, you speak English to them, okay? Okay. Because okay. who needs the practice is us, okay? Not them. So we are the ones that are going to speak, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good, okay? Now I'm gonna let you go and I want you to rest because you have to wake up early to tomorrow. And me too, I have to wake up early tomorrow. I have a very hectic day tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, it was a pleasure, Vicente. Have a okay. wonderful night, have some rest and see you tomorrow at class. And remember, do okay. homework 11 and homework 12. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, very oh, good. Good night. good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay.